Was that authentic? Yeah. Okay. On today's broadcast, Guide Financial gets scooped up by an insurance company. Fox Financial Planning Network wants to help you with your online investment service adoption. And Wealthminder raises fresh capital to give you an edge over robo-advisors. So get ready, FP Pad Bits and Bytes begins now. Hey everyone, I'm Bill Winneberg and thank you for joining me for this week's Happiest Place on Earth Advisor Technology News Broadcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Total Rebalance Expert, the industry's largest privately owned portfolio rebalancing software provider. TRX now offers TRX Edge, a completely rewritten rebalancing platform optimized for the web as well as mobile devices. Sign up for a demo of TRX Edge by visiting fbpad.com slash TRX. This week's top story comes from Guide Financial, because while I was enjoying clam chowder in a boudin sourdough bowl in San Francisco, the company announced it was acquired by John Hancock, the life insurance, mutual fund, and retirement solution provider. Terms of the deal were not disclosed. Now, if you're a regular viewer of FPPAD Bits and Bytes, you should remember that I highlighted Guide Financial in episode 124 when the company announced an agreement to white label its solution for members of the Garrett Planning Network. That was more than a year ago, and I'm told that the adoption of the white labeled solution was below expectations. So fast forward to today on the heels of fintech acquisitions of eMoney Advisor, Upside, Nest Egg Wealth, and LearnVest, and you'll quickly realize that industry behemoths like John Hancock are eager to cater to tech savvy customers with slick, user-friendly online experiences. Guide Financial is just one of the many online startups in this space building such a platform. So in the press release, John Hancock said that Guide Financial will operate as an independent group. So I can only speculate whether or not Guide Financial will remain independent or if some financial product upselling and or cross-marketing will weave its way into the solution. So stay tuned. To read the press release about the acquisition, head over to fppad.com 165 to get the links to this week's top stories. Next up is news regarding online investment services, surprise, surprise, as the Fox Financial Planning Network recently announced a new program called Advisor Touch Symphony. If you missed the news because you were out riding a cable car, Advisor Touch Symphony is essentially a turnkey roadmap you can implement to add an online investment service to your business. Under the program, you'll receive step-by-step -step guidance on how to adopt these new tools, with GemStep Advisor Pro being the first automated investment service of choice. And you can expect several other online services to be featured in the near future. Pricing for firms with one to three advisors is a one-time fee of $5,500, and larger firms will be charged based on their size and need for customization. This gets you practice management resources, but this fee does not include additional compliance guidance and resources available from national regulatory services or the optional cybersecurity consulting from True North Networks, which were both named in an alliance with Advisor Touch Symphony. Phew, got that? So if you want someone else to show you how to add an online investment service to your business, this is one new resource to be sure is on your radar. And finally, this week's broadcast wraps up with news on Wealthminder, because while I was pillaging and plundering with the pirates of the, you can't say that on YouTube, the company announced a new round of fundraising to the swashbuckling tune of 1.45 million. Wealthminder is, surprise, surprise, yet another white labeled advisor solution for online service. Only this one goes beyond basic asset allocation recommendations by incorporating goal planning. To get a deeper look at Wealthminder, coincidentally, Joel Breckenstein reviewed Wealthminder in his column for Financial Advisor Magazine this month. To cut to the chase, clients and prospects log in to Wealthminder and choose the goals that they're planning for. They aggregate their investment accounts using an integration from Yodely, and Wealthminder ultimately generates an initial financial plan based on some basic assumptions, and yes, the plan can include investment recommendations as well. For you, the advisor, you can log in to your dashboard and view all the plans that clients have created, which includes their recommended actions, and then you can proactively offer your services to help clients implement the next steps. There are a reported 26 firms using the platform today, and the pricing to advisors comes in at $10 per month per client, but you can offset the cost by collecting a monthly subscription fee from clients who want to use the Wealthminder platform.
So if you want to read Bruckenstein's full review of Wealthminder or to see stories on Vesterly, Morningstar, and Total Rebalance Expert that didn't make this week's broadcast, head over to fppad.com 165 and get the links to this week's top stories. Remember, Bits and Bytes exists because of the support of our sponsors. So be sure to visit Total Rebalance Expert to learn about the completely redesigned TRX Edge. Visit fppad.com slash TRX to schedule a demo with a real human being. Now, Pershing's Insight Conference is underway right now as I'm filming this broadcast, so be sure to tune in next week for the top technology news from their event and more. In the meantime, you can always send me a tweet using at Bill Winterberg or leave a comment here on the FPPAD YouTube channel. For FPPAD.com, I'm Bill Winterberg. See you next time. Comes from Guy Financial, because while I was enjoying calm, calm chowder or the optional cybersecurity consulting from True North. No. <laughs> True, True North, to be sure, is on your radar. And finally, in this week's broadcast, mmm.